The guitar tone on this record, it's well documented that it was a rockman on most of the tracks and stuff. Right. But was it really just all rockman or was there other things being piped in there? There were a couple of little things. Like there's a Galleon crew that these little tiny amps. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I used one of them on a few little things. Um, there was a Randall amp on, on something, but I'd say 98% of it was a Rockman. Yeah. yeah. So now talking about that Rockman, you know, it's been said that it's a heavily, it was like modified and all these things. Uh, what was exactly done to it? Because no. that's that's the big question. You know, right. how different is it from an X100 that Tom Schultz would have sold, you know, at a, at a store? Exactly the same. In, in fact, the main one was set. We all had one. Hang on a second. I've got it here. It's like. You like, have the original Rockman? Yeah. Oh, I, my I God. Thinking. Yeah. Um, hang on a second. It's here somewhere. It could be on this table. Hang, hang on a second. Oh, man. So, That'd be crazy uh, if you pulled that out, because that that should be in the museum. That should be in the Rock and Roll Hall know, of Fame. It absolutely should. Um, where is it? I, I saw it here the other day. It'd be great. I had it for 30 odd years, and I lose it all of a sudden. Yeah, um, the one time somebody actually cares about seeing it. <laughs> oh, dude. Wow. So that's... So, yeah, I mean, you know, you you could on, on these ones you couldn't turn the it had to be chorus or or reverb the, or the echo. The, yeah. So um so yeah, most of the time we just kept the chorus on, so we'd we'd knock the reverb off. But yeah, mm. it's um that was the the main sound for everything, like all the stuff on his steer, all the clean stuff as well. Yeah. It, was, it, it sounds like that. Um, Tom Schultz made me one later on a rack mounted one that you could you know take it all to pe- you know take all the stuff off. And, right. I've got that. That's awesome as well. But uh, yeah, it was there was definitely a sound and a thing. And then the, the album after we used the uh, the different one, the, the the other one that you could actually turn all the stuff off. The, so, the, the cheap one. Oh, so Adrenalize was a Rockman too. Yeah. Wow. Nice. So talking about those guitars, you know, like what what was was the main guitar Felix? Like that was the main axe that you guys use. Like what yeah. kind of pickup were you using in there? Was it like a super distortion or? Yeah. Dimazio Super Distortion, and um, it was w- the rest of it was kind of standard, but I had a, a Kayla on it. It's actually got mm. a um, Floyd on it now. It's got a Floyd, and it's got a, a dim- it broke actually. The wood broke, it kind of snapped because really? I had a Floyd put on and it, and it kind of gave way. But um, oh, yeah. Mike Sh- Jackson, he said, Oh, I can fix that, and he, he, he just put some hard rock maple in there and, and it it sounds great i was actually used i used it recently actually yeah that's me I, I i read somewhere that you know mutt had like a charvel kind of laying around in the studio too like you know was that used to track anything or it, it was i used that on on some of the animal stuff i think but that's that's my introduction to jackson and charvel because i i couldn't put this thing down i mean i'm like wow this is, this is awesome he said well let me call the guy and it was grover jackson and mm. He called Grover and said, hook him up. And, and then Grover made me my uh, uh, crackle guitar. That's actually in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, Museum at the moment. Yeah. Uh, that, that one. That's in like- and I used it on the record as well. And it's, it's in the videos. And then the Bella Lugosi one. And yeah. that, that was on a couple of things. But yeah. What about the go- what about the guitar arrangements? Because you listen to some of those really cool parts. You know, you even you listen to the, you know, hysteria, the pre-chorus, the acoustic part, the bow, bow, bow. It's you know you've talked about this in different interviews where you said you know it was one string one note at a time and it was put together, but there's there's a certain sound to that acoustic where it's like it's almost like you know they're automating EQ or something or there's like a filter like on those punches because you know you try and do that it sounds like a guitar, but it right. almost has like a, like a bow like kind of sound to it you know almost like a wah wah. Well, that that was Felix actually as well. That was an electric guitar and. To do that on the clean sound, you know. Mm. So, um, so yeah, it wasn't an acoustic out. guitar. That's that's Felix. Yeah, it was no acoustic on it. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. I and mean, whenever you play a um, a chord, there's a certain amount. I'll, I'll just show you actually. Hang on. Mm. There's a certain amount of um, arpeggio. You know, you'll you'll be you if you play like that. Yeah. There's a bit of that, so it's a then 
I mean, that literally, that was it. It was like, and wow. that, that kind of, yeah. yeah. But there's just such a sound to it, you know. Like I said, you know, it's got it's 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 really cool the way they processed it in the mix. Because I'm sure it didn't sound like that when you recorded it, but when it's all put together, there's so much compression and like it. Like I said, it almost sounds yeah. like there's like a filter, like automator, like a wah on it. It's it's just really cool. No, I mean it's it was my friend came in. He's a guitar player. As we were recording that, and he said, "Wow, what are you doing?" And because I'm I'm like sitting there, like got you know. <laughs> <laughs> we said, well, we're going to get this thing that sounds like, but without doing it with your fingers, because you wanted that pick sound. So yeah. it was unique and it didn't want it to sound like a, a keyboard. So yeah, that, that was pretty much it. You know, Mutt said, let's, let's separate the thing. So everything hits exactly on, on the nose and it just creates a, a different sound that, that, that normal people wouldn't do. <laughs> well, that's it. It's like, but you know what? It stands the test of time because it just sounds so good, you know?